we are back with a Putnam problem. This is A3 from Putnam 2020 and here is the view of the problem. The problem says that a in plus 1 equal to sine of a in and it's given that a0 equal to i by 2. So we have to find out either the sequence converges or not. So at first of all, I like to keep some intuition behind my solution and some graphical approach to this problem. So suppose this is our xy plane. Okay. And suppose this point is i by 2 and this point is i by 2 and also assume that this point is 1 and this point is also 1 so let me take this points. okay so if we assume this to be y axis and this to be x axis and we are trying to find out, I mean plot the graphs of y equal to sin x and x equal to sin y. So at first of all, it's clearly visible that this line is y equal to x and this is tangent to both of these equations. So in this case, the graph of this is the graph of sine of x equal to y and this is the graph of x equal to sine y. Okay, it's clearly visible. So if I make this larger to define all the things as following that this was our y-axis and this is our x-axis and this is our x equal to sine y and this is our uh, y equal to sine x yes so This is y equal to sin x. Okay, and these points are pi by 2. Okay, so this point is pi by 2, and this point is pi by 2. However, this point is 1, and this point is 1. Okay, now let me clear everything here okay so it's given that a0 equal to pi by 2 and again we can write a1 equal to sine of pi by 2 equal to 1 so exactly this is pi by 2 so this is our first point Okay, and if we put this thing here, then the feet of perpendicular from this point is defining, I mean y coordinate of this point, the red point here, defining a1 exactly. And similarly, this is the point and if we drop a perpendicular from here and x coordinate of this point should give us a2 and similarly we can construct a3, a4, a5 so from here we can see that somewhere here will be a4 yes so we use uh, 
so we can see that a2 is bigger than a4 is bigger than a6 and this is also a0 is bigger and this is going on on the x axis and on the y axis on the other hand we have a1 is bigger than a3 and this goes on now we have given that this is equal to sine of a8 now if we use the Taylor expansion then we can write as following a n cube by 3 factorial plus a n 5 by 5 factorial and this will be minus and go on now from here we can write this as something like this isn't it yeah now Now from here we can easily see that a in is some function of sine okay a in minus one so this is this will strictly lie between uh, minus one and one and the square will strictly lie between zero and one so we can see that this is less than one so from here we can conclude that this following thing so we can see the sequence is decreasing however from here we cannot come up to the conclusion because if you recall the harmonic series let me write here that a chain equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 this go up to 1 by e and limit and tends to infinity each in diverges in this case each of the point are decreasing i mean if we define a in as 1 by n this is this decreasing sequence but it doesn't mean it converge so in this case we have to look something deeper so let's start from the point we have discussed about the Taylor expansion I mean a in plus 1 can be written as a in minus a in cube by 3 factorial plus a in 5 by 5 factorial minus and this goes on but if we look into these things all of them are very smaller because if as long as we can increase a, the values of the this expression will become much lesser okay so from here we can write it as asymptotically to be a in minus o of a in cube okay where a in q is a asymptotic function for sure so from here we can write a in plus one equal to one by a in minus o of a in q so from here we can write a in m minus o of a in q by a in now o of a in q is lesser than a in for larger in it's for sure then we can write as following and this will go up and from here we can write that a in plus o of a in yes now let us take the square of this thing that should give us plus 
O of A in square 2 into 1 by A in and O of A in. If you remember the sequence of sign, there was like this A in and the next power was A in Q. So there was two gaps between the two consecutive powers. So from here, we can write this as some constant plus O of A in square. Okay. And this can be simply written as O of A in square for sure. So from here, we can write this whole thing as C plus 1 by O in square plus O of A in square okay i think this is no problem till now and then we can notice that equal to c plus o of a n square now from here it's easy to see that a n square minus 1 by a n minus 1 square is also equal to C and O of n minus 1 square and this thing should go up to 1 by a1 square minus 1 by a0 square C of O of a1 square okay now let add them up to get the following thing that this uh, thing should cancel out that 1 by a n plus 1 square minus a0 square is equal to n plus 1 into c plus o of summation of r equal to 1 to a n a n square okay. and on the case of limiting case I mean from here it's easy to see that plus n plus 1c plus o of summation are equal to 1 to n a n square now from here on the limiting case we can write a n square is approaching n plus 1 into i sorry n c so a n square is approaching 1 by n c so this sequence is Diverging. 